Ah, uh, good morning to everybody out there. Nichols Retirement Empire here. We are back in uh, North Florida. Gonna do some crappie fishing. I really am enjoying this. Me and Paul decided we were gonna start crappie fishing in the winter uh, because that's when crappie fishing is best. Uh, you know, winter, early spring. And, uh, you know, I've only lived down here about three years, so my saltwater fishing experience in the winter, I don't have a whole ton of it. When I was riding home yesterday, Paul called me, and I will continue this story, like Paul Harvey used to say, the rest of the story. All right, got to slow down again. Um, Paul called me yesterday when I was on my way back from the swamp, and he said, how'd you guys do? And I told him. He said, well, we had the best day ever. He said, we went down to the Nassau River. We caught all kind of crappie. It was a fantastic day. He took his brother out. Uh, and he said, they caught all kind of fish. So I was like, you know what? I need to get out there tomorrow. And so here I am. It's tomorrow. And I'm going to try to catch these crappie that Paul was telling me about. I okay, got my first fish this morning. Let's see what we got. See what we're dealing with. Oh yeah, oh yeah, nice looking guy, nice crappie, nice, first one of the day, that's a good one guys, okay, that's a good start, it took me a little bit to get that one, figure out where I'm fishing, so let's see if we can repeat that. There's a second one. Oh, he came off. That's two I missed. Pulling. Ooh, it's a good one, guys. Look at that. Lord of mercy. Ooh, son. That. <laughs> that is a crappie. Right there. Look at that guy. I'm gonna measure him, see how long he is. That's a 14 inch crappie right there now. For real, good one. Like it. Thanks, Paul, for telling me about these crappie being on right now. Ooh, I wish you was out here. Let's do that again, guys. Six to one sixteenth ounce jig with a Patriot color. Bobby Garland, baby shed. Let's try it, see if we can hit another one. Well, one thing for sure, based on what Paul told me yesterday, the crappie are here. Just gotta figure out today how to catch them. Just cause he caught them yesterday doesn't mean I'm gonna catch them the same way today. That's the thing about fishing. Different every day, man. You never know. I'm hung on something there. You never know um, from day to day what's going to happen. That's what makes it fun. It's good, whatever it is. Got the crappie. Man, these guys are pulling today now. I mean, pulling. They're, they're strong. I guess being out in this river makes for a strong fish. There he is. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful.
there's some brush or something right here kind of out in front of me I've gotten stuck on it like 500 times so I know it's there I feel like that's where they're kind of hanging around it's not a lot though okay I put that underspin on and I want you to look how that crappie inhaled that thing. Now that is a fish wanting a bait. There he goes. There he is. Nice, 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 oh yeah. Yes, sir, yes, sir. Another big one. Since this current was kind of changing up a little bit, I moved on the opposite side of where I was catching those fish so that I could pull my um, bait with the current, which is what you're really supposed to do. That worked on the first cast. Let's see if it works on the second. We'll see. It did. I probably should have been over there the whole time on this side. Yes. That's two casts and two fish by making that change. Another one. The weatherman said the wind was going to blow 20 miles an hour or 15, not 20, 15, starting at 10 o'clock. And sure enough, 10 o'clock, just like, just like he said. I don't feel like a baby. It's in the same spot. Oh no, it's not a baby. No, sir. That's not a baby. That's not a baby. Yes. Another quality. Nice. Spec, as they call them in Florida. Black crappie, spec. Good stuff, man. Try that again. Let's try it again. Why not? Never even felt a thump on that one. He was just on it. Not big. But I never felt a single thing. It just got heavy. Barely hooked him too. Little guy. Little guy. Pretty. Same thing. Never felt a, a thing. Nothing. Just got heavy. God, that's weird. That's a weird crappie bite right there. And they're little. Except for that big. Not the same location. Felt that one. That was the crappie thump right there. This is a better fish. Well, better than them last two. Feels like a really good one. Actually, it is good. It is. Fine specimen. 
There you go. Good one. Good one, good one. <laughs> oh, that's a good time, man. That's a good time. Woo! Son. I like it. I like what's happening to me today. I'd say these guys are, I'd say this 54 degree water temperature, they like it. They like it. What do you think about that, guys? Are we crappie fishing today or not? I say we are. I say we are. Right behind me, it's like 23 feet. Right here. But where I'm throwing up there, it's shallow and then it drops off. And they're on that drop off. Let's throw that spinner and see if I hit it. Same as before, I didn't feel it. And it's a good one. That was that was nice and thick. This is a one eighth ounce road runner. And that's I don't know what this is, just a little green with a chartreuse trailer. But that's a road runner, it's the underspin. Of course, right now they may hit anything. I don't know. <laughs> oh, yes. Yes. Man. Love it. This is awesome. So if you've never crappie fished before, it's a blast to do. But if you never have, if you catch a fish somewhere, you need to throw in that same spot. And if you can, throw at the same angle and do it over and over again, because they may be stacked up in there. Lord of mercy. I just about can't stand this. It's just too good. Man. Man. I'm just going to shut my mouth and catch fish. Well, at this point, I would say this is the best day fishing for crappie I've ever had in my life.
Yes. And that is a nice, nice, thick slab. Now, I'm not keeping these because I got a freezer full of speckled trout. And you may not agree with me, but speckled trout, crappie, there ain't no crappie any better than any speckled trout. I can tell you that right now. Speckled trout is good. So, I got plenty to eat. There's no reason for me to get a bunch of fish and, you know, not eat it till next year or something. Let's see what we got. Ooh, 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 ooh. He's barely hooked, so I netted him. This is another big boy. Yes, you measure him, 13 and a half. I mean, quality fish today, guys, for real. Oh, yes. Another one of the good guys. Yes, sir. Check out how beautiful these fish are. I mean, they are absolutely gorgeous. I decided I needed to try to change color and see if that'll kind of get these guys going. That's the way crappie are. You gotta, we hardly ever catch them on one color all day. You usually end up having to, having to change your colors around. I had to change batteries on my camera so you guys missed me catching this one you can see I changed colors another beautiful beautiful speck I'm gonna need the net for this one it's really big Yes, sir. If Paul was here, we'd be weighing this one. That's a weigher right there. Look at that guy. Look at that guy. Let's see what, how long. It's another 14 inch, beautiful speck. guys it is after lunch time I think I caught plenty of fish today I really do what a good day by far my best day fishing for crappie that I've had since I started trying this a couple of years ago or really about a year ago it really hadn't been two years so anyway had a great time thanks for uh, Paul for figuring out where these fish were yesterday or he knew they were biting we knew where they were all the time but yesterday he was out here and they were biting so i came out here and took advantage of it today i sure did uh thanks for watching guys had a blast hope y'all enjoyed this video uh 